Okay, so you've got the universe card over here. So this is the end of a cycle. And, uh, you know, you have come out with a lot of inspiration, a lot of knowledge. You are finishing off something that you uh, had been going through for a long time. Uh, and uh, you are now moving. You will now start off something brand new. It looks like you're letting go of things. Uh, you've got the six, the memories card. You've been thinking a lot about the past over here. Uh, maybe paying too much of homage to the past. But it looks like you're letting it go. Because they're releasing these lights into the water. So it seems like, you know, you could be bumping into somebody that is from the past. But it looks like, like for all intents and purposes, you're letting go things um, from that past. Maybe just... Um, you know, giving it a little bit of thought, uh, you know, maybe having some good memories or, you know, reminiscing a bit about that past. Um, and because you've ended with the universe, um, you know, you've ended the cycle with the universe, it seems like you are letting go, you are releasing that past. And you've got the Ace over here. So you've got the Prosperity beginning over here for you. Um, Ace of Pentacles coming in. You might be starting off, uh, off afresh with somebody over here. You've got two hands over here, joining, me, reaching out to people, laying foundations and uh, reaping um, you know, the benefits. So something new has come in, something new that is about to uh, bring you rewards uh, you know, from a financial point of view, from a materialistic point of view, uh, a new beginning is starting. And this is excellent because you've got the world that's the end of, ending of the cycle and now that new phase that begins, begins with that prosperity. So you've got um, the uh, material success and prosperity card over here. It looks like in the past you have been waiting for things to come in. Uh, this is like the Six of Pentacles. There's been some kind of obstacle, some kind of barrier to your success. You've been waiting. This is a new um, dawn, a new sun rising, and you have been waiting. Maybe you've even been waiting for your relationship uh, to take off. Uh, and this has been going on, um, you know, in the recent past. Um, so you've got the star... Um, uh, this is the accelerated motion. So this is the Eight of Wands. So that coming in for you, it looks like there's inspiration and things that were really stuck, where you were really stuck, uh, you know, behind this barrier you can see here. It's starting to move. And this is being divinely guided because the, the star is always about, this shooting star is always about divine di being divinely led along your pathway. So you are looking... Uh, and making plans for the future, and you are waiting for things to happen. You're waiting for the natural cycles. And maybe some inspiration is coming in for you uh, to move forward. And that's been going on in the last year or so. So you've got the authority card over here. This is taking control of a situation. This is the uh, emperor card. Now you could be dealing with somebody who is a bit of a, on, on the bossy, bully side. But this is also a card that is counseling for you to you know, manage your resources wisely. Make sure you know exactly what is going on. Be very, very, um, you know, be very planned up. Have a, uh, an idea about what you want to do and take control of that situation. So you are getting control. This is like a, a Roman emperor. So taking control, be completely in charge of what you're doing. And then you've got victory and success over here. So uh, this is the six of wands after going through a very, very difficult phase you will now achieve the success that you need but provided that you take control of that situation so you could well be dealing with somebody who is um you know um preventing you from um moving forward because they are a bit of um you know a bully or it could be you just taking control of that situation but the eventual card is um the six of rods which is um being recognized for all your talents and being very successful at what you do so that is coming, uh, prosperity coming and success beginning for you. Okay, so I'm going to just draw some cards from the uh, Tower of Ascension. And that's for the main read. Okay, you've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in over here for you. So things are starting to change in a big way. Um, you know, if you have been going through a really down cycle, it seems like it's going to be pushing you forward. Be very vigilant. You've got that eye over there that is saying that, you know, be careful. Um, you know, even though the Wheel of Fortune is very positive, 
uh, it's not always a very positive card. You need to always watch your step when it turns. It brings change, um, but you must always be on the lookout, you know, for pitfalls, for people, you know, trying to bring you down, people trying to, um, you know, uh, break your stride, if you like. So things are starting to change. Where things were stuck for you, they are going to start moving. And you can see you have been stuck here. You've got the hanged man over here, so waiting for something to happen, and it hasn't been happening. But with this Wheel of Fortune coming in over here, it looks like that situation is now coming to an end, and you will start moving forward. Now, you've got the Ace of Pentacles here again. So in the previous energy read, you had the Ace of Pentacles as well. And it looks like there's new money and victory coming in as well. So, you know, don't be asleep. Make sure that you're wide awake <laughs> when this comes in. So a new opportunity coming in or being presented to you or new money being uh, coming in. And this is what you're waiting for. And it looks like the Wheel of Fortune is turning. So while you've been waiting for, you're waiting for this new money to come in. And it looks like it's going to be coming in for you. So in the past year, you've got the Hermit card spending a lot of time by yourself. You might have been studying quite a bit, uh, you know, um, you know, maybe you're going through a phase where you're uh, improving your skills or you could be going through university it's definitely where you have spent a lot of time and effort focusing on your work. This is a card ruled by uh, Virgo, so it is about you know being uh, very sacrificing your time and effort for your work in order for you to move forward. And it's also being you know doing a lot of research, uncovering a lot of secrets, and finding the truth about things. So you might have been going through some kind of difficult uh, situation. Maybe you broke up with somebody who got a big rift over here, and you've been trying to research or find out why this happened. Or this could be you know you're looking to the past to find out why things have gone this, this way. Uh, and like I said, this could be a card of being, you know, very immersed in studying or or, or self-improvement. you got the Knave of Cups over here. So it looks like there's some kind of offer that came in, and this looks like an offer of study as well. So whatever you've been doing, uh, where you've got this Vir uh, the card of Virgo or the Hermit card over here, and then the Knave of Cups is also about uh, studying or new offers or, you know, a new uh, opportunity where there's learning involved being given to you in the last few months. Uh, on your mind, you've got the strength card over here, so you're trying to sort out problems that you're dealing with. Uh, it looks like you are dealing with a lot of problems uh, and issues, and you know you're taking control of that uh, situation. And you're finding your own independence. The strength card is a card ruled by. Leo, and it is talking about finding your own identity as well. Now you've got the Four of Pentacles over here, so um, this is um, you know achieving stability, material success, stability, uh, being able to accumulate wealth. So you are saving, you are watching your spending, you are focusing on your finances, and you are trying to find um, you know a, st a stable home, maybe um, a stable job. It looks like this is where your focus is about, and you want a job where you know it looks like this whatever this job is going to be quite stable. You're going to be in some kind of leadership position as well, um, and it's going to require also further study as well. So whatever this new job that comes in is going to have all those elements in it. So this is the fool starting something brand new, a new sun rising. Uh, you can see that you are, you know, leaving the past behind and moving forward into it. So, you know, the future is not certain here. You don't particularly have an idea. You're taking that risk and you're going for it. Um, you know, you do have a lot of skills and talents over here, but it looks like, you know, you are making a lot of future plans and you're going for it. So you've got the Seven of Wands, and this is talking about collaborating with a lot of people, but standing up for your own uh, views, your points of view, presenting your ideas to these people, and regardless of what they say, putting it forward, and this is how you will achieve success. So this is, you know, speaking to a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people, but maybe presenting your ideas in such a way that, uh, you know, they can't refute it, and, uh, you know, you are um, uh, showing them that you can, you know, whatever your ideas are, are really brilliant. Um, so that, uh, you know, um, you can have that opportunity of being recognized and being given more opportunities. Maybe you need to do that for this particular job. You need to, maybe you, this is, um, you know, uh, going uh, in front of a panel for an interview and um, uh, presenting your ideas or presenting your CV uh, in front of this interview council and then giving you this particular post with this Four of Pentacles. So you need to be very upfront and be very strong in how you present yourself as well. You get the Eight of Swords over here, so in, you know you're worried um, about um, you know being taken advantage of. 
you're worried that you know you'll be stuck in that particular position where you know you won't have any authority or, or any ability uh, to put forth um, you know your independence um, and also this is a card about being very anxious uh, about whatever is coming in the future now the the, the nine of um, Swords is about anxiety, but I think the Eight of Swords is a bit more about it, being feeling very trapped by your own thoughts, very anxious about it, not knowing which way to go, really. So going into the future, it's this, these three cards look like there's something legal that is going on. Because you've got the Knave of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the King of Wands. Now, this Knave of Swords and the Seven of Swords says to me that you're dealing with somebody or some someone that is very, very deceptive. The Knave of Swords, which is a Page of Swords, is a lying, thieving, <laughs> cheating, miserable person to be dealing with. They actually lie to you, pretend that they're your friend, talk behind your back, and then go and do something completely nasty to you. And with the Seven of Swords with it, which is a card of deception, lies, cheating, thieving, you know, these two cards, you're dealing with a really toxic person here. And this could have, you know, could be in the form of this King of Wands. So this is the energy. You know, maybe... This King of Wands, this is your card. So you're going to have to stand up to this person, whoever this uh, Knave of Swords is. Uh, the King of Wands um, you know, takes control. This man is completely in armor over here and he's got his rod in his hand. Now, um, you know, um, as a Sagittarian, this is your card. So you're going to have to stand your ground no matter what anybody says. Uh, because it looks like somebody that you're going to be dealing with is going to be really, really nasty, really toxic, really awful. Uh, you know, they, there's somebody that's in your midst. Maybe you can't get away from them. That is going to cause a lot of problems for you. So it's very important for you to stand your ground and shield yourself as well. Keep your information to yourself. Shield yourself because this man is in full armor and show them your power. So, you know, uh, don't allow them to bully you or take advantage of you. But just be aware, there's a very, very nasty energy over there that is coming through. And you need to be very, very wary of that person. So it looks like there's a new job coming in for you here. And it's going to be a job where there's authority and there's a lot of learning coming in over here. And here you're standing up for yourself and putting out your ideas and maybe heading that particular project as well. And it looks like you're starting off anew here. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the um, Angel Tarot here. And this is going to be for the Oracle Read. Okay, you've got the page of air appearing again. So this is that person that I'm telling you about who is about, you know, pretty pretty uh, disruptive, pretty challenging. So it says challenging information, delays or changes to plans, truth delivered without tact. Now this person, this page of air, you know, they are very disruptive. And um, they are, uh, you know, whatever that energy is, very lying energy, it's cheating, it's um, causing a lot of disruption. You know, even preventing messages from getting through to you where you, you they um, uh, don't allow certain information to come to you. So a lot of deceit there with this page of air. So just be very, very careful. It's appeared twice in the main spread as well as in the um, uh, oracle spread. So somebody to be uh, careful of, information to be careful of. Keep all your secrets to yourself. And the Awakening card, which says, look for things from a different perspective, a temporary standstill, it is important to be yourself. So the Awakening card is like the hangman, so this is also appearing again up here. So things a uh, little bit stuck right now, but they will start moving. You might have to give up something, give up maybe a friendship or relationship or some kind of thing. Maybe time, effort, uh, making a sacrifice in order to for you to achieve things. And then you've got the Renewal card, which is a judgment card, which says, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts time to move in a new direction so something that comes in for you this could be information this could be this person page of air is also about information it could be legal information as well but it makes you change direction or makes you change what you were supposed to do so you're planning on doing something and you change your mind and do something else uh, because this is the judgment card you make a judgment call that means that you decide to do something different once this information or this facts come in and if you look at it, you've got the page of air, which is this information coming in here, challenging information, which causes an awakening and it causes a change in direction with this renewal card. So there's something that's going to be coming in for you that's going to change the way you do things or the way you handle things or maybe even the way you approach, approach your job or even the way you achieve that particular job. You make sure that you stand up for yourself, uh, display your strength of character, act with confidence and, uh, you know, 
uh, you have to make, and the wheel has got this big eye here, so be on the watch out, be on the lookout. So be vigilant, watch your back. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you are making a brand new start. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now.